Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Minecraft today. I've got a few things that I want to do. I want to update the inventory system. I want to create a couple more of like the habitats for a couple of the new mobs that came out in 1.20. And I just want to do some more exploring. Hopefully find one of those like ancient ruin trail things where you can get the special drops of the archaeology. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the inventory system. I want to update it where I can automatically sort all of the new items from 1.19 and 1.20. So I'm going to go ahead and build it off camera, but I will time lapse in once the time lapse is done. I'll meet you guys right back here and we'll take a look at it. All right, everybody, the inventory system is done, and I implemented it over towards this side. I think we talked last episode, but there's not, not really any room to go that way, that way, or that way. So really, over here is the only direction we can push our inventory system. I created a lot of extra slots, so if any new items come out, again, we'll have that extra room. We won't, we won't actually have to build it. We'll just have it ready. Um, and also, because I might have forgot some items, so I wanted to have some extra room in case I did that. So over here, we got most of the 1.20 items that I could think of. And then if we go over here, is really the bigger one with the 1.20 stuff along with some of the old stuff. So we got, you know, our cherry blossom stuff, our swamp stuff. I don't think it's called a swamp, whatever. Wherever this mangrove stuff grows, we got our new bamboo. And then we've got a couple extra slots. Now, the one things that I was thinking of adding is, you know the new wood types the cherry blossom and the bamboo and the mangrove i could add like the slabs and all that i could separate those but i don't think i will just because i can easily just shove those in the chest but so currently this is what we got um and then again these are all really already set up i just need to add the item which is super super easy so now that you guys have seen this and of course we did the redstone just like the other where i can kind of tell if it's getting full Behind it is just all of the hoppers, and I'm going to go ahead and probably block this end off. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the redstone before I block any of this off. Um, so let's go up to the redstone now. So as far as the redstone, here's what I did. You guys know that our normal uh, inventory system is over at the main part of our storage. Well, I actually just cut into the wall right here. I had it extend this way, go through that whole new system, then come back this way and basically just go through the rest of the inventory system. So I just expanded it in a direction as simple as that. So once we come over here, we have our first round of new modules. So from all the way over here until the end, the modules are actually built. So from here to here, um, I can add new items and that's a lot. It's like 
This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, say 20, 30, probably like 40 new slots that are completely ready to go. This redstone is good. All I need to do is add the items into this hopper and then obviously build the hoppers up at the bottom there. And we're basically good to go. So we're kind of expansion proof here. Uh, but since we didn't have that many items, basically what I did is I made, you know, these auto sorters for the new items. And then once, you know, it came to the end, I just went ahead and cut it. And here is the second set that we created. And this is for, you know, the skulk stuff. And then it goes through those and this is where it ends. So we got even more room on this side over here. And it comes over here and as you can see it just runs back to the main storage system and continues so this is really nice again just having the inventory system updated is really cool but the fact that i built basically expansion slots that can be easily just put in and out is really really nice and it'll kind of update proof our world for probably another one or two updates so we don't have to worry about anything like that so you can see that over here it gets a little nuts it's even kind of hard to look at but just just to know that the system does work every item is getting to the proper chest 100% of the time and not a single one of these paths is getting crossed um, so that's a little hard to believe and I'm also very stuck that's why I'm continuing to talk so it might be a little hard to believe look at the system but um i did wire it in us in a way where none of it gets basically cross-wired but yeah i think we're gonna go ahead and leave this project and we're gonna go ahead and build some of the habitats okay so you guys might notice that the camel the LAs, and the frogs are gone um i built the habitats so i'm gonna show you a quick montage of me building those and then we'll take a look at them now you guys might be wondering where are we gonna build these so if you guys know that right over here you see those maybe i can look at the bigger one these are our current habitats so we got i think the polar bears the mushrooms the llamas the goats the foxes the pandas and ooh, what are those the rabbits rabbits so here's what i'm thinking there are a couple of empty spaces right here right here and right here that aren't filled in and I've been trying to think of things to put there for a while. And you know what? I think we should just use them for new habitats. And I think we're going to start off with one big habitat right here for the biggest new mob, which is the camels. And we're going to go ahead and add one, two, three, four different habitats across this line. That way we have basically the entirety of this area now filled. And I can move on to a different area without feeling like I left a giant hole somewhere. So we're going to go to put the camels here then we're gonna probably put the frogs the allay and i actually just thought of this like literally my brain just think thought of this i should probably also make one um for the sniffers i haven't actually haven't done that yet maybe we'll do that but yeah point is the camels here frogs here allay here and then we're gonna put the sniffers after that so now that you guys know my plans, we'll get started. And I guess one more thing. Um, obviously, we'll make the camels in a desert biome. So I'll be using a lot of sand and cactus. And I'll be adding a few villager houses because, of course, camels spawn near villages. The frogs are going to be in a swamp. So I'm just going to use a lot of mud, a lot of water, and some mangrove saplings to make it look like a swamp. The LA, I am still not sure. I think I'm just going to put them in a big air cube. And we'll figure that out later. And then the sniffers, I think I'll probably put them in like a flower forest place because that's kind of their deal. So yeah, time lapse time.
Okay, so through the magic of editing, we are back. Let's go take a look at our creations. So, I'm going in the right direction. I almost just got lost my own world. So, I told you guys the camels would go in this station area. Station, stationary. So, like I said, the camels would go over here in this empty space. As you can see... We have just a normal enclosure with the glass. We have plenty of sand. We have plenty of cactuses. A couple of yellow lights so mobs don't spawn in there. Two fairly similar villager buildings. I think they I think they are pretty good replicas of what you would find in an actual village. So yeah, we can actually go in. There's nothing inside, sadly. Maybe I'll put like a bed. Maybe I'll bring actual villagers here. Who knows if I want to get that exciting. But I think this is a pretty good recreation of a sand or sand biome a desert biome i think this is pretty good i am definitely happy with this this is one of my better ones i would say the torches aren't very realistic but maybe i'll just place some more lights in a little bit but you can see we have our two camels whoa 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 yo yo do you want to watch out dog oh god okay we have a problem <laughs> These doofuses are going to get themselves killed. You guys want to, like, stay away from... If you kill... How do I... Can I breed you two? I want to breed you two before one of you kills the other. Jeez, come on, guys. Here, make camel, baby. Do it right now before one of you dies. You absolute goofballs. How do, how do you make a baby? Maybe I take the cat... You know what? <laughs> I'm going to take the cactus out. Or, I'm going to take the cactus that's on corners out. You guys, this is why we can't have nice things. You guys are going to get yourselves killed on accident. I'll leave something like this because the chances of them getting themselves killed on that are somewhat low. You know what? Things like this. Maybe I'll leave that there. They can't get themselves killed on that one, right? Maybe I'll remove this one. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm like now I'm scared they're gonna hurt themselves. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Some of the realism is gonna go away, but you know what? I need these camels to live. I feel like a safe environment is probably more important than a realistic environment. So this is where camels reside. Now we can go over here to our two other new habitat sanctuary things. One of them is, like I said, basically just an air cube for now but i think the swamp looks really really nice it i mean it uses actual swamp trees i keep calling it a swamp it's not a swamp it's a mangrove or something right but it looks really realistic because the generation of the the ant of like the trees themselves look amazing it comes with the vines it comes with the little pods it comes with everything so it even you know auto creates these structures which is amazing and you can see we have our two cute frogs in there i think they laid a couple of tap yeah see right there right there they already laid a couple tadpoles. You gotta feed them some slime balls and they, you know, they get to doing their thing. But yeah, um, for a while I actually got, uh, it was freaking me out because this glass wall was a little lower up until here and they could actually they could jump over it, um, which was a little bad. Go away. Nobody likes you. They, they were actually jumping over the wall, so I had to make it a little higher. Now, I haven't seen them jump out since, so maybe, maybe we're on the right track. But yeah, I think it's really, really nice. We got trees, we got water, we got lily pads, we got vines. This looks like an actual swamp in my opinion. It, the thing we could do to make it look like a more realistic swamp is just make probably more water and probably make it deeper and probably have a couple of level changes. But I think for the safety of the frogs and the viewing experience of people like me, so I could actually see the frogs, I'm going to go ahead and leave them just like this. Now the saddest one, and again, this is one that done with for now i i got two more lays along with the two that we already had and i'm just gonna leave them in this giant air cube the two ideas that we have here's the thing you can the places that you find them is trapped at villager outposts or the woodland mansion right i'm not gonna re-trap them like the villagers do so i don't want to put them in like a replica cage that's ironically i'm putting it you guys know what I mean. I don't want to do that, right? They, I just freed them from them. I'm not going to put them back. 
even though I'm whatever don't question me <laughs> so the, my two options are to create like a miniature woodland mansion or to just put them in a generic like fairy forest so I'll have to decide that if you have any you know suggestions put them in the comments and the other thing that I just thought of last clip is the sniffers are gonna go here and then I have no idea what's going to go in the fourth. Maybe maybe I'll like put an animal here. Like Maybe I'll bring like cats and dogs. Who knows? But for now, for sure, the sniffer is going to go here. Um, and that one's also going to be fairly easy, too. It's just going to be like a flower forest, right? So I just need to get some grass. I'll make a couple of hills, put some bone meal around. But I can't do it now because it's 310 and I need to go somewhere. But that is the progress we've made with these three enclosures for now. So... Now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and get to the exploring section of this video. So, last episode we checked out a lot of the new features and things, but there's more to find. There's like the ancient trail archaeology thing with the special drops. We're going to hit one of those up. We're also going to continue exploring the oceans. We're going to try to fight a bunch of the ocean monuments, try to get that tide uh, armor um, so really, we're just going to be looking out for some new armor trims. We're going to be looking out for maybe that new disc. We're going to be looking out for what else? Oh, lots of new shards. So let's go ahead and do that now. Thank you, and congrats on the win. Ilya, podemos hablar en tu lengua aquí en español, un poquito, por favor. So no, I guess it was just something I, I expected. This, like, I literally expected to go out there, do what I needed to do, and walk out and just be like, you know what, another day and like. Yeah, well, that'll be an important part of the puzzle if we're going to map it. Hey, everybody. So I think I found something special. I was just kind of, you know, making my way around the ocean, just trying to find some ocean temples to try to get a couple of more of these templates from the Guardian. And I saw a little piece of terracotta sticking out with a little bit of gravel. And this makes me think... I think this is one of those trails or like ancient trails or archaeology sites that gives you those like specific special drops that's what i think this is so i don't again i don't know if this is it but i think it is i think if i brush this yeah but see there's terracotta Does that sound like dirt yeah th this is a whole building what i wanted to do is I wanted to find one of these somewhere on land and then actually excavate the thing. Um, but obviously that's not going to happen with this one in the middle of the ocean. So this one will be specifically just for maybe looting some items. Yo, do I keep breaking the special dirt on accident? Yeah, I'm a big old dummy. I keep breaking the special dirt. I think I already broke two of them like an absolute goofball. At this point, I'm just like, I'm just gonna have to do. I, for some reason, I can't tell the difference between the two. I'll just have to be a little bit more careful here. Is that special dirt right there? No. I guess I don't know why I'm not breaking this stuff again. If I was, you know, archaeologing this bad boy, maybe I wouldn't break a lot of these, but it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to find some good loot right now. That's a special piece, right? No. Yeah, I don't know why. With the sand, it's very easy to tell. I, for some reason, with this, this gravel, I just have such a hard time telling which ones, which ones are special, which ones are not. And I know as a strategy, I really should be starting from the top because if the special gravel falls, I think it breaks. Oh, this is a special one. Oh, yeah. So I know these, like, archaeology sites or trails have... Oh, that's just a brick. Have special loot. I think the biggest one is probably... Well, the one that I'm most excited about is probably the disc. But I know there's other things you can get here. Yep, okay, this one's special. Yeah. I just a piece of blue dye. Oh, 
Maybe a piece of blue dye. Yeah, this is the first ancient trail we found so far. Again, I'm hoping to find one maybe near land. That way I can kind of like actually do like an excavation project. Also, what I'm doing is horrible. I'm potentially breaking a lot of the suspicious sand that, that way. It'd be, it'd be smart if we just start from the top here. It's a special one. Yeah, my eye is like just slowly getting better at recognizing what is what. Hey, yo, look at that. Just, just chilling right next to me. I have the inventory to pick it up. I think there's a couple of actually blocks, good blocks here. Seeds. I think actually all three of these are. Oh, that's nothing. Hey, baby, I'm just recording a little bit. All right, there's another vase. Honestly, I'll take any of these shards just because, you know, they're harder to get. Might as well collect as many as I can. Yeah, what I'm looking for is a disc. Oh, I got excited that that looked like a fairly special item. That was just a stupid <laughs> glass pane. What is that? Oh, that's just a hanging sign. I actually haven't made one of these before. This is something new that they just added in this past update. Just haven't looked at it because I don't know, it's just a hanging sign, right? How excited well, I shouldn't say that. You can get real excited about hanging signs, but that would have been destructive. Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. That is a special armor trim specifically for Yes, okay, that is one thing that we needed, and the great part is, now that we have it, I can just replicate it with diamonds. So, that's one of the big finds that we were looking for that. The other thing that I need now is just the music disc, really. And those would be, I think, the two really big things that I would need from here. So, this, this is super good. That was definitely, like, one of the things that we came here for. Or that, you know whenever I found it, was what I would be looking for. Here we go, a few more tries. Another day. Thank you know. Ooh, a couple of special ones here. What in the world is that? <gasps> Oh, is that a different one? That is a different... Oh, that's nasty. Ooh, we got two of them. Music disc? Is that a... Wait, is that another one? Oh. Yo, we got three different ones now. That's... That's extremely lucky. I mean, okay, I don't know if that's extremely lucky, but I'm presuming... That is fairly lucky right there. What is this? Oh, piece of string. Getting three of the different things. And again, it's not... I'm like almost glad they did it. It's not like we will ever run out of those now. Because once I replicate them, we just have them forever. So that's just three armor trims right there that we don't ever have to really go look for anymore. Now we just have them. We get jibated by these sands a lot only because 
the things that come out of them tend to be very very colorful of course naturally the human brain gets excited because it, it sees color also his diorite's confusing the crap out of me which isn't very nice and this is bringing in another texture screw it's screwing with me now here's my question i'm gonna let the light go out let's see if we actually do need the night vision i'm assuming we will Well, this is super interesting. It's one of these, um, basically, ocean ruins, but it's completely on top of land. That's super interesting. Actually, like, I don't... How rare is this to have them just completely on land here? And there's a couple of them, too. Oh, you're holding a shell. I could take that shell from you. Yeah, it's super interesting that they're spawning. I wonder if something like this could... You know, I can create a farm from something like this. Do they just spawn around this area? If that's the case, I could definitely farm it. The other thing we could do is we could get these suspicious sands. Maybe we can get something nice from it. Ooh, I'll take the vase parts any day. Thank you. And nothing from, nothing, at least nothing good from these ones. One of y'all is going to give me a trident, I believe. Love to find a jungle temple. Could probably get a nice armor trim from that. Also, I haven't been in a jungle temple in a decade at this point. Here we go. Okay, we actually did manage to find one. I genuinely wasn't expecting it. Oh, no, of course. I still have mining fatigue for another minute. Okay, I guess we'll just have to do this the old-fashioned way. Let's see. We can grab ourselves. Um, ouch. We got the wild armor trim. That's pretty great, actually. Now, I know there's another chest back here somewhere. All right, what you got? Two diamonds? Yeah. We'll take two diamonds. Ooh, a little... Whoa, this is weird. Okay. I'll go up in here, though. Why is there so many skeletons in here? Holy... Okay, we'll take this Dune ones. Anything? Okay, let's get out of here before this place blows up. I'll take more Dune ones. Once again, it, it'll just uh, save me the hassle of... Oh, Lord, this is like a deep... It's a deep temple. Yo, this is kind of wild. This is, whoa, what is this? Oh my. Bro, this this new generation is just disgusting. Look at this. Oh, look how beautiful that is. That's nuts. I love this new generation. Right, let's keep moving. Let's see if we can find anything else. Oop. That's another temple just kind of hidden in the sands here. Well, we definitely won't say no to a temple. I'll take some more dune armor trims. 100%. Give them to me. Nothing. Okay. 
Oh, for a second I thought, did we already explore this one? But no, because then the block would have been broken if we did explore this one. Right off the bat into the sponge room. And the thing hasn't even given me the mining thing yet. Dude, safe profit, bruh. We take these. Give me. And then we'll... There it goes. Alright, well... Grab the little sponge before it did his dirty. Alright, let's go find it. I'm not going to even bother with the rest of the sponge. Okay, everybody. So we just got back from our little adventure. And I've got the main spoils up in this uh, shulker here. So here's some of the things we got. Um, I mean, these things aren't really important. Got some apples. Got a few wet sponges. These things are absolutely goaded. But we got ourselves a couple of new templates. Now, this dune armor is the one that we got originally. It's what we're wearing. So these are really the new ones here. So we got the razor, the host, the sentry, the wayfinder, the wild, and the coast. Now, I did look at all of them. I don't really think I actually want to change my pattern. I think I'm, I'm cool with this pattern for now. Maybe, maybe I'll take a look at the pants. I feel like I could change the pants. So we'll, we'll take a look at that and then here is the things that we got the mourner the friend the sheep the howl the heart the heartbreak the blade and the burn now here's what we're going to do i think i've kind of decided that i want to go ahead and collect all of these shards but what i'm going to do is i'm going to wait until i get four of the shard and then make them into a pot and then collect them in that fashion so for now we're going to go ahead and leave all these alone except this heartbreak one because this heartbreak one is the one that we ended up getting four for so we're going to go ahead and make that a heartbreak, and then we're going to start. I might actually put them in like a special room or something. For now, we're just going to leave them right here. So these are the three that we've gotten, all four pieces so far. And as we keep exploring, we'll try to get more and more of those pieces, and we'll try to get more of the vases. So that's really it for now. Very, very quickly, I'm actually going to Google to see if any of these have better pants. Just because I'm, I like the boots and I like the hat. But actually, I feel like we could switch up the pants. So let me see what I can find. Okay, everybody. I kind of want to try out this host armor. And I do have an extra, so I'm not going to trip about making another one. Now, where are my... Oh, I guess I could grab a new set of pants, right? Okay, let's go and grab... Because there's no reason to delete the armor trim that I currently have. So let's go ahead and grab another armor piece, and we'll just switch it out so we don't waste one. All right, let's see. Are these good pants? Mending, unbreaking, protection, mending, unbreaking, protection. Okay. So we can hold our current pants. Ooh, is it, did I leave anything? Oh, these are just extra things? Okay. Um, now let's head over back over here. And I think we need a piece of gold, right? Of course, I'm always forgetting something. I need a piece of gold. You got any gold? No, nope, no gold. Okay. Let's just do a quick flight over to our gold stash. Got one of these bad boys. Run back around. Skirt. And let's get some new pants going, huh? Okay. Let's take a look. See, I, I, I like that better than the old ones. I, I, or the old one. I feel like the line just looks better than, like, the weird circle. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Cool, so, um, yeah. And definitely while we play, we'll keep testing out with more and more of these. But for now, I think we're good. So, um, yeah. I'm gonna end this clip here, and I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, everybody, I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off here. We did a lot of things. New armor trims, new habitats, new inventory system. We did a lot today, so we're going to go ahead and end it off. Next episode, we'll continue the grind, guys. Thanks for watching.